So I'm a peace activist uh, working in former Yugoslavia. Uh, so speaking from that pers perspective. Uh, and there are many things that I'm working at the moment, but uh, two that are like immediate <laughs> uh, are uh, one is a research on culture of remembrance uh, in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And the other one is a short story competition with the topic of reconciliation. Uh, yeah, and former Yugoslavia is uh, the, the frame. That's it. And the obstacles, ha. Working on peace building in, in the Balkans, uh, I would say that one of the first obstacles I would name is uh, uh, victimization, deep victimization of the societies. Uh, all the societies or the groups, how, however you want it, uh, are certain that they are the victims of the war. Uh, and it is quite a challenge uh, to address uh, it in the peace building work. And then uh, the other one is, um, of, of course, the very wrong understanding of own histories. It's typical for all, all the nations that they understand their histories wrongly. <laughs> but then for, for former Yugoslavia, it's really special. Um, and yeah, that's another uh, big obstacle. Uh, and the understanding of um, the, the wars as a just. Of course, there is a just war theory, but it is rubbish, if you, you ask me. And uh, you, you would uh, find uh, all the groups uh, claiming that they participated only in just wars. If you think the democratization is uh, one of peace building approaches, then certainly what should be changed is, is introducing democracy by bombs. That doesn't work that way. Um, also, what I observe uh, is that there is a heavy burden on, uh, on peace building work. It is usually understood as something that, that comes after military intervention. Uh, and then it's like, OK, you guys, experts, do your work now when military guys made the mess. And, and it cannot work that way. In my understanding, peace building is uh, preventing future wars, uh, not only reacting on, uh, on problems and violence that appears, but preventing the future ones. Uh, and how it works nowadays, it's only about like, uh, how do you say in English, you are turning off the fire you're not catching the uh, fire person. I have to be honest that I still didn't have a proper look at the agenda. It's something that's very far away from, <laughs> from my everyday work. Of course, I will come to, to it. Uh, but um, when you ask me that, it, it's a in a way, strange that we are at the moment discussing like 2030 and uh, more inclusive societies when Europe, that, and most of us has most of the expectations uh, from Europe, is closing its borders to refugees. I mean, yeah, it's a bit strange.